Nelson. I'm Jeff. I'm Glow. And I'm Kyle. We're the fucking Morning Throners. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite Song of Ice and Fire podcast. We're the Morning Throners. We're on the last chapter of book one. We finally made it. I don't know if we ever thought we'd get here. a year and a half for two years. I don't know how fucking long it's been. It's been a long time. Want to hear something neat? Jeff, what's what's the series called? A Song of Ice and Fire. What's the where the first chapter? Ice. Last chapter? Fire. Book ends the book with ice and fire. And it's even mentioned uh, in this chapter with the, the fire. Yeah, the sticks go yeah. ice to fire. Um, so oh, Kyle was just it. we were. <laughs> it's like when they say Game of Thrones. Oh, oh they said it. <laughs> oh, I don't know that reference. You know the <laughs> meme with like just the meme. Leo? I think they it is. The or is it yeah, they oh, said the they name said of the show in the show. Oh, they said uh, it. Oh, and he's smoking the cigarette, and yeah, and he's like pointing at the TV. Oh, they said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's funny. Uh, I yeah, I didn't think of that meme at first, but all right, Kyle, we were kind of ad libbing Nelson, have fun editing all that around, but was kind of saying not a big fan of this chapter. Yeah, I, it was just it. it yeah. I, I, so you kind of had – was it the magic? Because you kind of had a problem with the magic in the last Danny well, chapter. So, I mean, I, we can get there when we get there. But, I mean, we do this every time. I say that every time. And then I just blow my load at the beginning. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. A lot of guys have that problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's every time. So. You always got round two to fall back on. All I'm saying is like that – like it was this huge big thing that Miri did all this stuff. And like she had been all these places and had to like learn this magic all over the place, I'm sure. And then Danny just pops out and is like, well, I've been through it once. Now I know what to do. I got to put these eggs in the fire. And then there comes the dragons. And then now they're sucking on my nipples. And like, it was just so weird, man. So, like, you, I didn't, so you think like she did blood fit. magic from like the whole thing? Like you're assuming she paid for life with life and did like what she did to try and save Drogo or whatever. That's what you're complaining. I, that was definitely what she was trying to do. That was what she even like talked about the whole time. Like when she was yelling mm-hmm. at Miri, she's like, you taught me how to do this in that three seconds when she was like dying on the you floor. You think you thought she was trying to revive Drogo? No, I didn't say that. No, I, she just, I think what Kyle's saying is that she did blood magic to get the. That's exactly what the, she was trying to, to do. Get yeah, but I think sure. Mi- Miri at the. Well, again, we well, maybe we should just go through it. But I think at the beginning, Miri thinks that she's trying to revive Drogo. Mm-hmm. Right? I think that's... Like, I why mean, the from... fu- before she brings the eggs out, why the fuck would Miri think anything about the Oh, eggs? Miri probably thinks that, yeah. And she's yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, when they kill the horse, she's like, it won't work, like, without words or whatever. Without... But, I mean, no, this, is, this is early on. We might as well just get into it, right? Yeah. All right, so... Uh, they just start by building the, the fucking pyre, right? Like, they're grabbing yeah. Yeah, whatever they're they can, chilling. leaves and twigs, and I guess there's a couple trees that were around, and... She starts off by saying there's not much, but then, like... As the chapter goes on, it sounds like they got a decent. They get a fucking, fucking lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's almost I mean, it's like a pyramid. People <laughs> digging yeah. for it. I mean, it's so. a pyramid that they built for them. And if it's the plains, like I mean, you're not gonna find all these logs. It's gonna yeah. be shit that burns quick. Well, they said they no, they did. They did say they only found two logs and they split them. So two they trees. Said two actual two trees. trees and they split them, yeah. and everything else was like branches, um, like no bigger than like an arm, I think. And then like the top layer was down to a finger size. But they uh, just I guess kept on coming, the. <laughs> On the bottom layer, they put a horse. So they just they didn't have his horse, which you should usually have, so he could ride in the Nightland. Because wait, they why didn't they him. have his horse? Oh yeah, because they, they killed, killed him in the <laughs> in the tent. <laughs> yeah. So they just found this like little one that they had, and were like, all right, Drago, like take this one. Yeah. Good take luck riding in the in the Nightland. Um, and this is when Miramazdor says. Uh, so Algo just drops this thing in the middle of the square, just feeding it an apple, and just axe between the eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I guess it's a good way to go, but Jesus. Yeah, I mean to think like, hey, come get this apple, apple, apple. You're dead. <laughs> you know? It was another withered apple too, like John was eating. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this is a it was withered a shit apple. little apple. They just don't have good apples, and so this is what we were just talking land. about. Miri was bound up, and she says, "It's not enough to kill a horse." She told Danny, "By itself, the blood is nothing. You do not have the words to make a spell, nor the wisdom to find them." Do you think blood magic is a game for children? You call me magey as if it were a curse, but all it means is wise. You are a child with a child's ignorance. Whatever you mean to do, it will not work. 
loose me from these bonds and I will help you. How about Danny just with a power move here next? Like whip him, whip her. Hey, Jogo. can you shut her up, dog? Shut, shut her up, shut her up. Good. Right Again, you the, say power move. I think, I think this is like weird, right? Like it's she's completely for- against her character. She's fourteen. It's at, you're saying out of character. Yeah, for she's sure. She's pissed. Yeah, she's yeah. mad. I agree with Kyle. She's uh, angry. She went through a dramatic event. She killed her husband. But this her isn't who she is. Dead. Killed her baby. The whole book was about her being like the good uh, Targaryen. I don't know about that. So I, I, I 100% the agree just. with you. How about the just? She maybe? watched her fucking brother get burnt to oh, a crisp with oh, yeah, molten gold. Yeah, let's stop here. We've in in the recent Danny chapters, she's freaking eating a heart. Like in that same chapter, watched her brother die with gold, right? Gone through like having a miscarriage and her and her husband getting like blood magic into sacrificing a miscarriage. Tr- right? Like we, okay, was sacrificing the baby for him. In the past, like, like two or three mind. chapters, a, a bunch of just bad shit has been happening to her. But before that, we were definitely talking about like how she wasn't the same. Like Kyle that, was on board for this, and yeah. no, she wasn't the same as she was in chapter one or two when she got married, when she was scared as shit. Right. Mm. We talked about like how in that first Fair enough. She said like this her saddle swords are going away and now she likes getting fucked by Drogo and she like started t- like commanding people to like she was standing up to her brother and she was like I think this I, I think this is a big jump. Like this chapter is a big jump from where she was, but I yeah. think this uh this has definitely been her character for this I, I book. Think so I don't think what Kyle's saying is correct that she went from timid, 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 timid to badass. So I think crazy. she went timid to slow arc to to yeah, something and fucking happened here between I think last Kyle's chapter and this also chapter. saying she was trying to be the good person most of the time, like stopping people from getting raped, trying to change the culture yeah. a little bit, and I now all of a sudden she's letting people get whipped and Yeah, she's I mean, but, doing uh, it. So yeah. that point too, though changing the Dothraki culture, she was like, "That's that's true." The I mean, changed her. the Dothraki yeah. people weren't happy about it, and she was like, "Well, we're doing this anyway." Type shit. Um, Hang on, so we're she is doing some badass shit here, but but one of the first things she says, and I don't have the exact quote, but she basically like calls everyone over to her, and she's like. All the slaves, you're free now. If you want to go, yeah, you're good. You I can could go. find it here if you want. It's kind but. of like it's kind of like. Uh, a bluff like that she probably knows no one's gonna leave like where the fuck are they gonna go they're in the middle of the desert there's only a hundred mm-hmm. of them like how much how many of them could really get away and like have a chance I, mean, I don't get I get I don't know but I feel like it's a little bit of a bluff just I want to say one more thing about Danny's character before we go Nelson I'll wrap it up and we can continue to talk if we want but um, I, I think she's playing an act as well I don't think what she's exactly doing this whole chapter is truly like because she says a bunch of times, like, all right, can't turn back now. Like, this is what I have to do. This is who I have to be. So she's this been saying that for be. a few chapters, too. She, This is how I should be acting, yep. right? So what would a king do if this lady was like, one, killed my baby, killed my, pretty much killed my husband, and now is just, like, taunting me in front of my people, like, yeah, shut her up. Um, That's hey, true. I'm your king. I'm your queen now. Like I'm leading this Kalasar, blah, blah, blah. Like she's trying to look really strong in front of all these people. So yeah. And, like, I she, look back, I, I am lost. She literally in a few seconds is trying to take a, a position that she and everyone else in this Kalasar knows is literally only a man's position. Like she's be, trying to become the leader and literally everyone she, she like references is like, no, you're an idiot. This is how this works. You're not a man. So I guess it, it makes sense. We that respect she's trying to, like, you, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That she's trying to like earn their respect by maybe like, being a little uh, violent, strong, I guess. yeah, yeah. yeah strong yeah. armed. Uh, what they, what the Dothraki see as strong and powerful. Yeah. Uh, so they continue to build a pyre. Uh, the second level is all of the treasures that Drago had. They call them treasures. So, Basically, it's all his shit. Like it's like clothes, his and, shit. clothes and weapons. His weapons, <laughs> yeah. His jewels. Uh, his Nintendo Switch. That yeah, right. And then there's a third level, which is going to be for Drogo, right? Yeah, Drogo, and the, the very they, top it becomes level. the egg. Yeah, but she so she yeah. talks about that level, um, his treasures, and Ago. So this is when they said that Ago wanted to put in the 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 weapons that Danny got for Bride. The gifts. wedding, the so wedding. Let's see, no, yeah, they're that, mine. That's that's literally has to be over a year ago that we read that. So Kyle, let's see if you remember what those are about. Not only what they like, not, obviously you should know what they are because she says them here. But like, how does the bride gift thing work? Do you remember? Is it like all of his generals, or is it all the other Kalazars, or? So each of his blood riders, yeah, gave Gives her a, something. A crazy I don't, I don't awesome, really remember. Yeah, it's basically that each gave her a crazy awesome weapon, and it just costs them that she just gives it to Drogo. Okay. So like Hago or Kaloho, 
and Caro. Mago. Caro, I think. They uh they would have each given her one of those. I mean, I knew the like the gist of what happened. With yeah. The, like I mean, the wedding gifts, but I didn't really remember those. Yeah, I mean, and she plans on using them in a second. So, yeah, so she says, "No, you're they're mine, not his. You're not allowed to put them on put them on there with all this shit. They're mine, but they're really yours." And then this is where Jora Jora pulls her aside and is like, "My princess," and he starts to like shoots a her. shot, man. Jora shoots a shot. Well, Good she, for him. He gets shut down before he even gets two words out of his mouth because as soon as she says "princess," she's like, "Yo, hold the fuck up." Which is weird because he's always called her Khaleesi, hasn't he? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Like, why now? Like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, you're going call it Khaleesi, Khaleesi, Khaleesi. Be, and I get it. No, she's not. He's definitely are the crones in Dosh Kaleen called Khaleesi still? He's definitely called, he definitely called her princess for, like, at least half the book. Because she didn't know, she didn't know Dothraki for, like, half the book. I mean, I guess. She the, knew she I was guess, a Khaleesi, yeah, though. I, mean, I, you know I don't, Khaleesi. I yeah, don't, yeah. that's a pretty stupid <laughs> you're right, fucking. You're right. I guess that's a bad <laughs> That'd be the first word she learned, probably. <laughs> yeah, you know? for sure. Seriously. Um, but, yeah. I mean, he definitely fucked up there. And this is where she kind of gets like, like, all right, you're with me, right? Like, no matter what. And then she she asks him again. So hold on, like, it, what's kind? I think that it's it's it's. I think it is badass what she does here. But there's one other. There's really only one other character who we hear like people are like get scolded for not calling them by the right title. Joffrey. She sounds a lot like him in this whole yeah. part because there was something earlier where you were talking about Jeff was like trying to make a point, like, oh, you whipped the prisoner, you got to shut him up, and it's like that's it's a Joffrey, Joffrey move, dude, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, like Ned Stark. Prisoner. Ned Stark might be like, yo, guide that guy or whatever. Two, two young kids playing at being a leader. Look at Rob, right? Rob's young. They're both. This is great. This is. Ooh. These are all really good points. They, all these people like are that are, about the same age, right? I think Joffrey might be the youngest. Yeah, and I, the Rob's definitely the oldest for sure. I'm not. I'm not denying that, but like, I mean, you, you can't say that like just because. Yeah, and and raised in three completely different ways. You know, one yeah, was right never true. raised to be king. One's been told that he's a king and or will be a king, and then you got Danny, who's been fucking. I don't know. Been told she should be, you know, the the queen family or I guess the princess family. And again, whatever. I don't know if this was intended, but like this, in, again, I take my it takes me two two hours to read ten pages with the way I take these notes. So things obviously pop out to me, but like it in this read through, it I definitely get a, a parallel and and not even like a parallel in the way they act, but like a comparison in character between these three people. Right, Rob Lily just got named king last chapter. This chapter, Danny is. Pe- telling people to call her queen. It's back to back chapters that both these people are like taking that again. Danny's brother died Ascending a few chapters ago, but they're taking that title now. Yeah, so it's like a lot of that's happening at the end of this at the end of this book, and a lot of the people are young young children, mm-hmm. badass young children. All right, Glow, give us the rundown of what she does in front of the the rest of the people that are there. So hold on, Jorah, after he calls her queen, he swears to her. Well, yeah, he's like, let's go travel east and let's go to Karth and Ashai. And- it kind of sounds like Aladdin. Uh, like, I'll let me show, show you. I will man. show you the east. <laughs> yeah. We will drink the finest wine. <laughs> we will go to TT. <laughs> Uh yeah, I mean that's he shot a shot and she was like, nah, I'm good. I don't <laughs> think he <laughs> shot a shot that much. I, like I think he's like, dude, you're... no, dude, he definitely did. Like, listen to what Kyle? he says. I think he's he's kind of saying, yeah, like you're you're bound to lose here, but he doesn't know this. Yeah. Please don't kill Jeff's yourself. Saying that he's like confessing that's also love what he's to saying. her. That's what Jeff's saying. Like, shot a shot, dude. Oh dude, no, he's not doing that. He gave my her sword, his heart, but I don't know. Like that's like my sword that was his is yours, Daenerys. And my heart as well. That never belonged to your brother. I am only a knight, and I have nothing to offer you but exile. But I beg you, hear me. Let Cal Drogo go. Like, hey, forget about your ex. He's dead. I'm here now. I can love you. I you get- should not be alone. I promise I you no so. man shall take you to Vastothrak. Dude, I don't know. I see it borderline, but I, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely shooting shot. I like, think why he's just he- afraid she's going to die, and then like, what the fuck's he going to do? I mean, Dude, yeah, I mean listen, she to this, is, he listen to this think last she's line. Kill herself. He thinks she's going to jump. We will into see the fire, all the yeah. wonders yet unseen For and sure. drink what wines the gods see fit to serve us. Like he's saying, don't. And then he yourself. calls her Khaleesi. Yeah, but like all the wonders of the world. I don't know. I think he shot a shot. 
All right, so Jor basically says, like, yo, chill out, don't kill yourself. She's like, I won't, I promise. And he's like, you swear? She pinky promised. So hold on, was she, I, I don't know, was she planning to walk into the fire when she two said things. that? Two things. I think there's two two things. Yeah, I think either he thought she was going to go into the fire, for sure, like, die with him. And she even well, no, says, he, like, later on. He says on. that. He says that. He's like, you can't mean to burn with him. Yeah, right, I don't saying. think, uh... Yeah, I don't think she originally planned. I don't think so. Either. I think she originally planned to put the eggs there. Because at one point later, she says like, or maybe oh. right here, she's like, I'm not stupid enough to do that. I think yeah. she planned the whole time. The whole thing, what happened was her plan. Her like walking into the fire too? I don't know about the walking into it, but I think she knew that like this was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it's like been said, building up with what, the eggs. That's at what, the end, that's it half seemed really... like she was like mesmerized and like walks in. She's yeah. like really seeing shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree I with know. nothing. I, I agree We've been Kyle. building up. Well, I agree with Kyle that she planned to hatch the dragons. Sure. I don't believe that she planned to walk into the fire. I agree. I agree with that statement. We, but to the egg point, like she's been touching them. She's been feeling hot. She's been mesmerized about them. The blood magic happens in the tent, and she's like, "Where are my dragon eggs? Where are my dragon eggs?" Like. I feel like and she even notes at one point she's like, oh, I, I think I've known for a while. This is what I need to do. She says something cool like I've known for a while, but the brazier wasn't hot enough. Yeah. Yeah. So Kyle, I, like she, she doesn't 100 percent know, but she has like a, a feeling. A yeah. Feeling. I, mean, I feel like she's like she's she's kind of shooting her shot, too. Like, well, fuck, I've got nothing. I've got these three rocks like, what? Well, let's see what happens. You know, I, so she right seemed more certain. So right here, and when Jorah she says, should, like, I, if she, I think she was uncertain, or I think if she, I thought she was gonna have to go to somebody that helped. I think her she out. just convinced I, herself, right? Her just, She's just like, this is the path we're on. I'm not turning back. This is where we're going, and fuck it, like it, like all right, hail Mary time. It's it's ten seconds left in the game. Mary. What so are we so doing? Train's moving. You with me, Jorah, or you're not? So, yeah. so let's let's play this out the other way then. What happens if the fire burns out and there are just three eggs sitting there? What what what, what happens then? Where does everybody is go she then? She's still alive. She she yeah, stays she's in bald. Essos and, and walk, we go does back. Does she to... walk into the fire and is still alive? <laughs> no. Well then, she's yeah, bald and no one her. follows her, and they take her to Doshkalin to be if, a crone. If she doesn't walk in and there's no dragons, they just obviously just take her to to yeah. Yeah, they're like they're like all right lady are you done let's go but if she walks in and the dragons don't hatch but she survives maybe they're still like what the fuck was that you know they call her they're just gonna Maggie be like Mag- magi or Ma- maggie oh, maggie yeah, right. and just bail the thing right? is, they're yeah. just gonna be like she's lucky ru- she's lucky that she's surrounded by like the group of people who worship the thing you can ride on and like dragons are just kind of like the most badass version of a flying horse. Yeah. I mean, nobody, right? al- nobody alive, nobody alive has seen it though, you know? And these, these dragons come out as like a kitten, but it's just pups. basically like she just, Little she pups. just gave birth to the three best horses, fire breathing horses ever, which, uh, who could, who could use that? Um, Ty- Tywin could use them, right? The flying horses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, horses and wings. No, uh, oh, G or G or toward, toward John that. Okay. Like, oh, right. Yeah, right. I didn't even think yeah, of dragons. Right. I knew it was, oh, I knew it was oh. <laughs> there you go. Um, so after she swears that she's planning on not killing herself, uh, she talks to basically the hundred people in the Kalasar and says, "Hey, I see some slaves out there. Uh, I believe everyone here is my Kalasar. You, f- you slaves are free now. You can leave if you want, but if you uh, stay, we'll welcome you with open arms and open hearts." Blah blah blah. Um. So then everyone's just like, yeah, you're fucking crazy. And then she starts talking to her her blood riders. Is that what they're called for her? I forget what they're called for her. Is it blood riders? I don't think so, Glow. I think they're like her her cause. Her cause. There we yeah. go. That's right. No, it is cause. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Good yeah, work. Come on. What do they, just what do they become? Her co's. Oh, wow. On. Jeff's on fire today. I'm all over this shit, man. So after she talks to everybody about it, uh, she turns to Jogo. He's like, Jogo, I give this gift to you, and it's one of the whip with the gilded edges or something like that, uh, and I announce you as one of my co's. And Jogo's like, dude, you're a woman. I can't follow you. I'm sorry. She ignores it and goes over to Ago, and then she gives him the dragon bone bow that is taller than her and says, like, hey, I want you to be my, my co as well. And he basically says the same thing. Uh, only a man can lead a Kalasar and name a co. And 
Once again, she's like, fuck you, I'm ignoring you. Now she goes over to Ricaro Nelson and gives him the Great Iraq as a bride gift or whatever. Oh, this was the one that was gilded in gold. Sorry. Yeah, all these were the bride gifts. Well, the, the whip like, had like a silver handle or some shit. It, you're, was it you're silver? Right. You're good. Yeah. Now. And then Ricaro was like, um, I really appreciate this. I'll ride with you until I can take you to Dolce Kali, and that's about it. Yeah. And then she finally steps over to uh, Jorah and says, I'm sorry, I don't have a gift for you, but do you swear to me? And then he does, and she's like, you'll be the first of my Queen's Guard. Well, she's like, I will give you a Valerian steel sword oh, better than anybody has ever gotten. The greatest great sword yeah. ever. Like, eventually, maybe. At some point, maybe. Do you have thoughts on that, Kyle? She knows where one is, apparently. It's probably a Rhaegar's or some shit. Oh, um, well, she also says dragon are all Valyrian steel swords. The ones that are exist, they were dragon forged. Is that just how they, they, don't, really, they don't know? I, I think I do know. know that about Valyrian steel, though. I think somebody had mentioned that, that it's like a lost art. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So dragon forged and made of Valyrian steel. It's just kind of the first hint that she was like, oh, no, nah, we're about to have some dragons in this bitch. I mean, I thought, yeah, I didn't think of it that way, but how would you have a dragon forge layer and steel sword? They're all they exist. Fin- it's a finite thing, and I mean, I mean, you have to steal it from somebody it's a to finite get thing. it. She says dragon forge. If she has dragons, does that mean she can make more dragon uh, layer and steel? Probably not. It's probably more complicated than just use dragon fire on steel. Well, she just but- fucking knew how to do this crazy magical ritual out of nowhere. So maybe, <laughs> maybe she can just make swords to all of a sudden tomorrow. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> You know, Kyle, I just want to say, like, it's it's truly, this is my opinion, and I don't know. Well, like, Nelson, that's what this whole podcast is uh, about, man. Yeah, but Nelson speculates a whole lot, so I'm sure, like, at some point he'll get me in the spoiler section, like, now you're stupid shit. I truly think she was just like, fuck it, like, this is all I have left, like, it's all going on that fire, and I, I was maybe something like, crazy will happen. There's, like, we don't really get a lot of explanations for this chapter, so, like, we, like... Who the like what the how are we ever going to learn more about this in the future except for more Danny chapters and I don't know if this is a spoiler or not she doesn't really think of this event too much more in the future like she never like relax like oh I remember when I meant to do all that shit so I did this mm-hmm. so like it's really hard to tell if she meant to do it or not right people they're like there are a lot of people who speculate on both like both sides both sides either way I have no well, now we idea. are now we're joining the fray that's all yeah 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 is that a spoiler that I tell you that like hey we don't know this. Or should I tell you that? Like It is and it isn't. It's one of those that like it, it kind of puts us on level ground for the conversation, but it is technically a spoiler. So I, I don't... Quit spoiling, Nels. I don't know <laughs> that it's a bad spoiler in that sense. I think it just... It's kind of... Like I said, it, it is and it isn't. It, Nelson, check the expiration date because that shit's spoiled, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the cows are... I'm um, using that from now on. <laughs> what the fuck happened? She could feel the eyes of the cows when she entered her tent. Oh, so she's walking away and just like eyes you're, on you're her right, and though. muttering the, the and shit. The was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much everything. Like, you know, what what did we fuck? just see? What did this lady just do? Yeah. So then she gets a nice little hot little bath and it feels really nice and hot relaxing little bath. for her. It's super hot. It burns super her. Super hot. Yeah. She Scolding hot. But she um, likes she it. She gets washed and gets some, some perfume on gets her vagina. Gets her hair clean. Nice. Yeah, that's so weird. That's this. And her breasts and understand. her wrists. Her finger was light as a finger feather. And not even just like, not even yeah. just on the vagina. Yeah, why? In the vagina. Why does like, he do this? So that we can talk about it in the podcast. It's so yeah, weird. I think he has a point. Like, I, said, like I, I know guys have sprayed like cologne on their dick or whatever before they like go out to a party. We well, were friends with a lot of football players with You've stinky dicks, yeah. probably. That's why. <laughs> well, that's just true. Yeah, I mean, half, half of Nelson's friends. This is who I'm talking about. Yeah, but about. then you're getting a blowjob and your your dick will just taste like cologne for the girl. And I feel like that'd be worse than a sweaty penis. <laughs> cinnamon is not a bad idea. Too, if, if we're talking about like, if we're going for taste, cinnamon is not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a practicer of this. I just I'm, know people have done it before. You're like, oh shit, spray, spray, spray. I feel spray. like you cinnamon in your dick hole that would burn and a little bit. I was going to say, how... did you do it for your bros too? Because, I mean, she had somebody do it for her. <laughs> I always put deodorant on Jeff's balls. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Got to make sure there's a good coating. What the fuck are we talking about? Where are we? Uh, you put deodorant under your balls. Her bath. She gets. She kicks them out, and then she starts doing. Uh, the she she washes Drogo. She has Drogo, his corpse, right? 
Does she do him? Yeah, he's dead. I think, right? Yeah. She put a pillow over. No, no, no. Yeah. Just, like she cleans him up. That's what I meant by doing him. She's cleaning him up. She's cleaning Hang his on. hair. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she was blowing she didn't his do vegetable because she was body in pain. Her, last her chapter cheech is all yeah, sore yeah. still. Um, my question is, I guess, what's the timeline on this? Timeline doesn't matter, says Jeff. But fuck Jeff. Um, this is like right after the last chapter, I'm assuming. So pretty, it's, it's going to be relatively soon if it's not decomposing. That's what I'm saying. I think the only chapter, unless I miss something, the only chapter we've heard of this red comet in is the brand chapter. The last brand chapter, he's watching a red comet with Mr. Lewin from the tower. Besides that, we don't hear about it any, anywhere in this book. I, I just meant in, in terms of her last chapter. Oh, it's got yeah, to be within two like days. The day after, I know. Most, like, so the, the last chapter ended with her pillow over his face where does yeah. this one start i'm saying at most two days or else the body starts decomposing like at like yeah. two days long yeah that's i long. mean out, out in the desert and again that, and she's and... like washing his corpse it's so i don't this says three three, says three days. days that body's gonna be bloated as fuck and she's just yeah, like rubbing him down and, and doing his hair. George, George wasn't wait, 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 on. No, no, no. George wasn't on Smelling the wall here. One day, one day, one day. One day. All right. One day. Smelling his cum. Be like three the hours. Last John chapter. Cum hair. <laughs> it has cum hair. It says it. <laughs> I know. I, dude, when I read that, I was like, "Why yeah. does his hair smell like cum?" <laughs> <laughs> and why is she She's all like deep it. dumps? Yeah, it's like a horned up about <laughs> fucking cum. It's like hot dog water. All right, so they. They, it's time to bur- it's time to burn him, right? So they're taking him out to the pyre. Uh, they dump a whole bunch of oil on it, probably gasoline. Gasoline. Right? Uh, the way that they do they have gasoline? Do they know how to process yeah. oil it's, that way? It's way? probably like kerosene or something, like just like oil, but crude oil. But um, yeah. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. So there was a period when I forgot that the last chapter ended with her killing him, right? And I was like, is she just going to burn him alive? Like, because he doesn't move. He doesn't do anything anymore. Like, I was like, is this how she's going to kill him? And then I remember, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. She did kill him. But I was like, it was even more fucked up when yeah, I thought she got him with the like old pillow. Said, was, Maybe uh, he'd wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to sing Mary's song. <laughs> Look a little. So they get him up there and then uh, put all the oil down. And then she's like, hey, handmaids. Bring me my eggs. There's no way she said it like that because they ran. Whatever she said, there's something in her voice made her run. So Bring she, me my eggs. Bring me the fucking eggs. <laughs> Everything burns. <laughs> which, which again is kind of weird because it doesn't quite fit. I'm sure that's some Batman quote, huh? Yeah. So is my yeah. gasoline one earlier, which I think Jeff got. But gasoline. That's, <laughs> that's what I just said. Yeah. It's cheap. Yeah, you did say that, but I didn't get the quote. Yes, I like. But this kind of makes it feel like it was an afterthought that she was fucking putting these eggs on. But suspenseful, I think. Oh yeah, she's like yeah. standing there and, and they are like pouring the oil and she's like, Oh fuck, you know what? Yo, go <laughs> get those, go get those. <laughs> but I mean yeah, no, I, I think it was I think it was more like, Oh, here's the pyre, like it's all done. And like the Dothra go like, Alright, let's set the, this bitch on fire and she's like, Wait, my eggs. That's pretty dope. Yeah. That's better. We're not done here. Yeah. All right. So they get them. They run. She put. She places them. Kyle, where she place them? Oh, uh, they wrap one of them up in his hair, and yep. one on his chest, and one on his schlong. You know. Yep. White ones down near the crotch for the semen. Grease <laughs> near his hair, and the black ones near his heart because he's a cold hard bitch. And uh, Jor- Jor- it's just is between like, his legs, but I'm I'm sure she like. I'm surprised she didn't wrap his dick around it the way that she was like placing these with care. This is when uh mirror starts like calling her crazy. Like that's not going to work or right. Or well, first Jorah's like, yo, look. Oh, she just calls her mad. Well, first Jorah right? says, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like those are literally priceless. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, get, yeah, the, yeah. get them the fuck out of there. Like you can buy <laughs> we'll ships. Them, you yeah. can buy, but we can be fucking wealthy for fucking ever, dude. Jo- and especially again, him, he's just shooting a shot like, hey, I could be really rich if you're with me and we sell these eggs. All right. So she climbs down off the pyre and Mira Mad's door is like, you're mad. Like, and she comes back at her. Is it so far from madness to wisdom? Which is just calling back from her to saying like, oh, I'm a magi, I'm wise. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's, um, which does make sense because I don't agree at all that madness is close to wisdom. I think they're pretty opposite ends of the spectrum there, but whatever. I agree. Uh, and well, I think it's the mad scientist thing. Sorry, Jeff. No, it's okay. 
But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I think madness, wisdom can drive you to madness, kind of. I don't know. I feel like Danny's throwing up a Hail Mary here, and she's playing well, it the off. The whole like... fucking chapter was a Hail Mary, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's, like, why it's, like, it, it just kind of felt... pl- I feel like she's really playing it off to everyone. Like, she knows exactly what's going to happen, but mm-hmm. it's, like... I agree. I feel like she has no fucking idea that it's actually going to happen. I agree. I agree. That's what I've been saying the whole time. And maybe I feel like that because I know she doesn't explain why she's confident that this happens. Like she doesn't explain anything later on. Maybe yeah. that is part of the reason why I feel like she must know, not have had any idea what the fuck she was doing. She's got super. Nelson just dropping spoilers. I already said that, that she doesn't talk. Know, she doesn't really talk about this anymore. But the last big thing of this pyre, tie this bitch up. She's going up in flames too. Right, and Mira, Mira drives Zach tough and like, you're not going to hear me scream. And this bitch turns right into her eyes. No, Jor is like, hey, fuck that. Like, I don't know if this is the right idea. And she's like, yep. no, you and just told like, me you do whatever you want or whatever we, I want. We skipped over this earlier, but Danny kind of tricked Jor into like, you promise that you'll do whatever yeah. I say? And he's like, yes, I promise. Anything? And now she's like, you, I, I, said what, I said whatever, do it. And then she... she Ricardo helps too. And then they just take her, they basically just stake her, I guess, to the ground in the middle of this pyre. Like standing up, I guess, just so yeah, she can't run away. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And Danny. She's, she <laughs> thanks her. Danny thanks her for the lesson she taught her as she's pouring oil over her head. She's like pouring <laughs> oil she's about to burn her with. It's like, thank you for the lessons you taught me. Only death may pay for life. And then her fate, they, Miri's like, oh, fuck. Like, she's like, you won't hear me scream. Danny's like, yes, I, I will, will, but I, that's not what I want. I want your death, bitch. And I'm sure all the do- like, whoever's with her, maybe Jorah's like, uh, maybe we shouldn't burn her. But everyone else is probably like, yeah, fuck this girl. Like, let's kill her. Yeah, they probably maybe not, the maybe not the other slaves, but like, yeah, the other people that are with them, but. <laughs> which are probably yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so she should be like the mage or. We talked about this. Like it's it's kind of rare, or at least it seemed like it. And then now Danny's just like gets it all of a sudden. She just understands. Yeah, I don't think she gets it or understands I it. I mean, everything that she's doing points to her. I think she gets really lucky. On... I think she gets really lucky. But it was exactly what she wanted. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been talking about it in the spoiler section too. I mean, and she you wanted knew, to kill me. Like you, so. You knew dragons were coming, right? That's I knew they not a spoiler. Existed, yeah. I guess when they, I guess when they were coming was yeah. the question. Like, well, I think it was probably you probably even knew that Danny was in a connect had a connection to the she dragons. Had the fucking eggs, dude. Of course. So okay, <laughs> so so like, did you think it was going to be in this book? Like, did you think like no? Like I said, I thought she was going to have to take them somewhere. I thought somebody else was going to have to help. Because the last few chapters, she's like, so there's been, so basically there's three, Danny has three dreams throughout this book that we've talked about in spoiler sections while you're gone. I'm, we've talked about them a little bit in the non-spoiler sections, but they all have to do with like, basically Viserys either being a dick or something and then a drag, her becoming a dragon yeah. and like saving herself or like a dragon lily hatching or saving herself or whatever. And in the last one, she's like, that's the, the last one was the crazy one where <coughs> she sees a ton of shit, she's running, but at yeah. the end of it, she becomes a dragon and flies yeah. over the Dothraki Sea and everything. And then like Jeff said earlier, she immediately crawls out of bed and cares about the dragon the dragon eggs before her child or husband which she just did a crazy ritual to save she cares about the eggs before anything like there's been like some uh like obvious like pointing to oh there's this dragon stuff and you've obviously even mentioned it in some of those chapters but i think that's like been building obviously i don't think it like none of those dreams like spelled out like Step one, build fire. <laughs> Step two, stake Meiji. Step three, with husband, but, dead husband so you, inside. I don't know. It was just like really okay. strange. I, that's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I, whatever. And mm. also, I think it's weird that like, if it's like going along with the whole death may pay for life thing, at the end it makes it seem like. And I'm skipping ahead again a little bit. When Jorah walks up on her, he says like surrounded, and she had like around her the bones of a man, woman, and stallion kind of making it seem like those were the if it's a death pays for life thing those were the lives that paid for the dragons she paid each of the three dragons but only yeah. one died in the but only one died during the exactly. ceremony the dragon was dead drogo was dead the drogo horse was dead, dead for a day the, or, yeah, the, horse the horse was, was dead, dead. <laughs> drogo's been dead for a day mage is the only one that dies here 
But I guess in the whole Meiji, if how does the death I don't. That's why I don't really believe in it's like oh like death like one death paid for one two three lives of a dragon. We don't know if there's a, like a table that equals <laughs> one human out equals too. three like, baby dragons. Is that what you're saying? Three that's dragons. Jeff. One yeah, Mary Master right. equals three baby dragons. It's the well, equivalent for Danny to. and Drogo, what was it for Drogo? It was one horse and one baby equals the one Drogo, right? A vegetable Drogo. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, Drogo was a badass. So. so. How smart are these dragons coming out then? Is the question. <laughs> they just gonna stare at the sun all day, sucking on their nipples. <laughs> yeah, I was really about to say, like, oh, <laughs> are their retinas gonna burn out? <laughs> Danny's like, fuck! I should have found a better horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, shitty you horse. think about like the little ass He's horse. A dead that <laughs> you would think she would if she, exactly. that's my point like if she really thought like she needed some like crazy shit like she'd be like no give me the best it was horse the best ever one they had to burn I think. for my dragon that's the thing yeah probably no nah, it, was, it was just one of them i think he picked it based on danny i think she probably would have made him kill the best horse <laughs> ricardo chose a stallion from the small herd that remained he was not equal of cal drogo's red but few horses were uh, we don't really find out too much about the old horse Wait, what happened to her silver mare? I think she still has her silver mare. They haven't mentioned it, though. The, the silver mare was the second best horse in the Kalasar. All right, so we talk about the mare. So when do they light the fire? What's the tradition? When the first when the first star arrives. And it, I guess the kind of it made it seem like that star symbolizes the person who you're It'll, It would be their star then? Because they were saying like yeah, if that's it's kind of brighter, what I took from it, too. If they're, if they're a badass, the star was brighter, pretty much. Yeah, one of those the stars, this dope, dope ass red comet, which isn't a star. That that also frustrated me. Yeah, but they're idiots. Come on, man. That none of them, none of them, they're maesters. Trues, trues on both sides. Not a star, but they're all idiots. Moving on. <laughs> uh, dope, dope side. Danny thinks it's a badass sign. Uh, she takes the, the first star isn't a star. Great sign. She Excellent. takes the torch and lights that shit up. Uh, flames start getting hot. Even Danny steps back at first. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Miri starts singing, I guess, before the fire actually gets to her. Yeah. So my Native American shit, right? I wouldn't. I mean, that's exactly what you were just doing. So <laughs> that's what Glow was doing. I was just making noise. No, you started you it, doing it. <laughs> I was just making noises. I did not. I was partake. making tribal noises. I'm not saying it's Native American nor. I don't think it's racist to make those noises. I mean, they're accurate, right? Those noises were real noises. I mean, to just assign this brown lady Native American heritage kind of is. I'm just saying, I don't know any other high undulating noises. That That's pretty much it, right? How else do you make, a high, make another high undulating noise, Kyle? <laughs> okay. Little, 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 little. <laughs> All right, maybe I'm wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. Little, 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 little. <laughs> All right. What is that uh, from? I feel like I just heard that. Spongebob. Spongebob. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> no idea the context, but I know it's Patrick. I think they're just making like war, like they're like war cries, like, blah, and he goes, little, 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 <laughs> little. He's doing it. Something like that. <laughs> what a great show. All right. The fire, uh, fire grows, everyone backs away, and then not Danny this time. Oh, no, I'm, I, I jumped too far ahead. It's like getting just bigger and bigger and smokier and smokier where it's like almost suffocating to be close to it. Yeah. Um, because of all the oils and stuff probably. And, and when that's she, I think when people really start backing up and she starts to get. And she says when the flames get to Drogo and she sees like him engulfed in flames and smoke, that's when she's like, oh, fuck. Jorah was right. I want to run into this motherfucker right now. Mm-hmm. Like she thinks that to herself. Like She's like, yeah, I should be there. She's like, I want to be she, with him and take she, him one more time. Exactly. Yeah, put she his like wants <laughs> rotten corpse penis inside me one last time. <laughs> yeah. I, I even got this nice scented coochie going on <laughs> for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then eventually, uh, the fire was making like so much noise itself that she couldn't barely hear Miri anymore. And then it could see the fire. Well, at well her. the song, the singing became screaming. That's before that. Yeah. 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 Like, so she did it, hear it, her at, scream. At first, it seems like she tries to hang on to this thing, right? She caught, like, it, uh, a, a, a song became a shuddering wail full of agony. Yeah, I, I mean, come on. Agony is not, like, if, a like, a song is usually is... something like, no, like, that's, upbeat. No, that's screaming. And, that's not singing at that point. Yeah. <laughs> a wail? A wail th- yeah. seems more like singing than screaming to me. Glow? Nah, not at all. It's a Game screaming. of Thrones word. Nobody knows what it means. 
yeah, <laughs> invented in this. A whale is not a she, she starts at some point. She starts screaming, so it doesn't really fucking matter when. But the flames are getting bigger. They're getting to her. Uh, other people are stepping back. Danny starts stepping forward. Takes off her top. Uh, it bursts into flames on the ground as soon as she takes it off. George, shouting. she's just becoming like well, mesmerized by the flames too. Gasoline. Uh, she's just becoming mesmerized by the so flames. She's right? seeing weird shit. She sees like people dancing. She sees a bunch of fucking animals. Animals, yeah. Uh, she says Jorah doesn't matter. Only the fire matters. Then she sees Drogo. Right, because Jorah is like still screaming at her, like "Come out, come out, get out of there!" And just Jorah stuff. She sees Jorah type shit. Yeah, she sees Drogo. That's when she takes the shit off. So after she takes her shirt off, this is Jeff's favorite part of the chapter. She's spraying milk all over the place. <laughs> Is that how it works? Like it, it can, but it was not necessary, there, man. Like <laughs> it was not necessary. Like this is, like I said, like this was why I think I had such a hard time with this chapter. Is it was just this is the weirdest part this. of it. The, there's two weird parts of the chapter. It's her spraying there's, milk. There's at least three. At least, and three. she's then breastfeeding the dragon. I'm gonna tell you, this is second. not the last. This is not. Uh, this might be a spoiler, but this is not the last weird breast milk <laughs> encounter in these series. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> It's just weird, and the 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 bath scene, Jeff. I think it's the other weird one. So that's at least three strange. And trying yeah. to bang a corpse, <laughs> like I mean, that's four now. Like this whole chapter is just so so. I don't, I don't think feeding the dragons with their tits is weird. You don't. How the else are you gonna feed the dragons? The reptiles. Uh, reptiles don't drink. They're milk. her babies. They're they her children. She's fangs, some mother of dragons. <laughs> well, they're babies though. Reptiles so they're don't just teethless. Drink milk. They got fucking teeth. There's no teeth. mother dragon to drink th- don't from take, the teeth. Don't snake teeth like not uh, they can contract, right? They're not fucking oh, snakes. Well, uh, I mean, they're kind of like Kyle's saying reptiles. Snakes are reptiles. They are reptiles. It's are a fucking reptiles? lizard. Snakes are. Yeah, snakes are reptiles. Yes. I knew it. So are dragons, dragons are not dragon, reptiles. Maybe. They're fucking myth- You're mythical You're just going to say a dragon is a reptile? Nah, it's yes. never it's existed before. It's a reptile. It might be a myth. A dragon is probably closer to a bird than a reptile birds don't make milk either it's closer to a dolphin i'm not let's not let's not get too deep on classifying a mythological creature into a, a non-fictional thing. i like how you act like this is the first time this conversation ever happened in the history of time jeff like dragons I'm sure they're closer to and and uh the t-rex turned into a chicken after evolution or whatever the fuck that argument is too there you go so if a t-rex is a mammal they're not the chickens are chickens mammals. a fucking are chickens bird a bird but what's a bird though Bird is the word. Bird is the word. They don't make milk. Mammals make <laughs> milk and they have hair. A bird is a bird. Why would the dragon Poultry. need breast milk? Poultry. Why did the dragon need breast milk? It doesn't. That's what's weird. That's what's Then what's saying. it need? Water. Food. <laughs> nourishment. <laughs> nothing. It needs nourishment, it needs which nothing. is in their teats. It eats food. They come out and they eat. They eat Go the eat a meat. fucking chicken. Eat some Pedialyte. <laughs> All right, she, let's move on. on. We're not even there yet. Or something. <laughs> she's, we're there. We're basically She there. goes in, crack. Uh, she sees Drogo uh, with a whip, and he cracks yeah, yeah. the ground. Yeah, he's like, fuck and, this place, and he's out. And that's the first time, the first egg breaks open, right? And that's yeah. the old green one. one runs to, rolls to her feet. It's like broken. That's the green one? Just the shell. Green yeah. one. Cream. 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 cream and green, I thought, right? Oh, I thought the first one was just cream. Okay. No, I thought it was cream and something. Anyway. Cream and gold. Cream and gold. Cream and gold. Cream and gold. Okay, okay. And then another crack. People are freaking out. Like, literally people are just like, oh, the track here fucking screaming. Uh, Another crack. They're like, can't you tell? I'm the mother of dragons, dude. People people freak the fuck out. She goes full into the fire. They were freaking out because, like, it was falling over. It was collapsing. And she was, like, right next to it, slash on it. That's, like, why these big bonfires are dangerous, because, like, they do collapse on themselves, and then everybody around them ends up in a fireball. Yeah. (laughs) Like, so they have have reason to be afraid, not not, not about these dragons. Yeah, there's no... I don't think there's any way they know about the dragons, right? Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um... They're freaking the fuck out that she's about to die. Cause so like I also she's not like in the in the fire. She's just like fucking really close to it, right? Yeah. She's like, well, at the end she's in the fire, isn't well, she? No. I think it collapses onto her. Exactly. But I think like before any cracks, she's not in the fire. It's just like her toes are at the edge. 
I think she's close to it, yeah. Yeah. Like, too close to it. Way too close to it. Like, toes at the edge, like, of a fucking bonfire. Yeah, like, fuck I mean, everybody doing? knows a bonfire, and, like, you get... Yeah. If it's a bonfire, and you're, like, closer than four feet, you're pretty fucking hot, and yeah. you can't stay there. And I think it's, like, rolling towards her. I mean, it says it's fucking rolling towards her. Yeah. And then, basically, the fire dies out. And they she's find her with there. three dragons. She's sitting there naked. Dragon on no one... Hair. Green dragon on one teat. Looking like Green me. dragon on another teat. Black one coiled around her neck, under her chin. Yep. And she's just nourishing her babies. Bald is her name, Dick. Jorah drops to his knees. All the fucking Jogo, Ago, Ricaro drop to their knees. They're like, blood of my blood, blood of my blood. You're fucking badass, blood <laughs> yeah, of my you're, blood. You're, you're, cow, you're now. cow now. Everyone yeah. is fucking... Everybody else basically bows down to her. Uh, her hair's burnt. Her hair's yeah, burnt. Chris said that. Yeah. She's yeah, bald as me. She bald as <laughs> her <laughs> name day. Yeah. I don't know if she's bald. It's probably between me I and mean, you. I mean, she probably should be bald. She's gotta be bald. Man. But there's probably still hair like charred. I think she's got like little spiky charred pieces, but maybe not. It probably should definitely be bald. So but I feel like she's got like, to shave it, right? You would think. Why did her hair burn off, but not her skin? She's she's blood of the. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not follicles of the dragon. Dragons don't have hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on, I guess I did just make that argument that they're not Good mammals. Question, Fair enough. So yeah, they all bow to her. She says that she know, realizes that they're hers, unlike they were more than they were ever Drogos. Uh, I mean, they did just see some crazy shit. For and, sure. But like, but they didn't like them. The Magi, like like I said, I, I don't know. It is, this chapter was weird to me. Like there was a lot of inconsistency. I think they're doing it a little bit out of fear. It's not it's all like I feel fear out of out of the dragons for sure. Yeah, where I but, think like, to the point that small. Drogo, they could, they could kill those dragons. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Um, to the point of Drogo, like they followed him because he was the strongest. Maybe they feared him a little bit, but it was I feel like it was a little bit more respect. I feel like this was like straight fear. Like holy <laughs> shit, what's this fucking woman doing <laughs> we better right, be on her side from the beginning jeff read the last paragraph of the of the of the book for your girl as daenerys targaryen rose to her feet her black hissed pale smoke venting from its mouth and nostrils the other two pulled away from her breasts and added their voices to the call translucent wings unfolding and stirring the air and for the first time in hundreds of years the night came alive with the music of dragons dope and it's a song of ice and fire, music of dragons. That's pretty close to the song of fire. And and it did start with the music of uh, White Walkers. You're there right. Wasn't, there wasn't too much music of that, but there was White Walkers. They were singing. <laughs> they were laughing. They were they were singing. <laughs> They're <laughs> ululating or however however you say that. Right, uh, Kyle, what do you think happens next? <laughs> I feel like it's pretty open ended. I don't know where you go. From Kyle, here, what's but... your prediction? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea where the next book picks up. I guess. And whatever, I think I. What'd you say at the end of the last chapter? I guess probably still applies, just with dragons now, right? I guess I don't remember what you said though. Yeah, I don't remember what Kyle said either. So I guess I guess I don't know which way she's heading one hundred percent, but I, I think she has a score to settle with the the rest of these. Uh, I guess they're now new Kalazars, right? That broke off of herself here, so I think she's going to take care of that first. Whether she unites them or kills them is up to them. I'm gonna say she did swear that two of them. Would She's gonna wish kill the guys for the mercy that they showed. Yeah, Maroa, the so. main, the like the heads. But I think she's gonna take their people. That's what I'm saying. I guess, it, and that's up to them. Like either you come with me or I kill you. Yep. Um, I have these baby dragons that don't really mean much yet, <laughs> but but I have them. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see how that works out for Cotton. <laughs> They're still <laughs> sucking on my so teeth. <laughs> Why? I mean, without with Drogo gone, she needed someone to suck on them babies. She's been horny. Look at Robin Aaron up in the Erie. I mean, we've already got weird breast. This is the second weird breast milk thing, right? That kid's like yeah. twelve drinking breast milk. <laughs> Make, obviously, yeah. makes you strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you don't remember Kyle that kid is not strong at all he's like I was gonna up. say again you're making an, a, a, a good argument for these ba these dragons to be vegetables vegetable I think. dragons yeah. <laughs> makes the story way more interesting too something never was coming <laughs> did you ever see that that meme with like it's like the two heads yeah. of the chimera yeah, yeah, and yep. the third one is like real stupid looking yeah it's just three <laughs> stupid looking ones yeah. exactly <laughs> exactly 
All right, so I don't know. No more Danny predictions. We're gonna do another. We're gonna do a, I guess, a podcast next week on. Do I we have to reread the whole book? I, next I, yeah. I, I, I told yeah, you. It's take us forever. I was thinking about making you reread the book over like a month while we start class just to refresh. I think. Like, I think before we do this one, uh, Kyle should try and watch the season one. I don't know how long it takes. Like, are you good at binging shows or not? If we I do, mean, I could easily watch that. If we okay. do, if we do, a I think podcast, it's ten episodes. If we do a podcast next week just on the book, like just we'll, like I told like me and Glow and Jeff will come up with like questions or whatever. We'll talk about we'll talk about probably about each character that you get chapters and then maybe a few questions or whatever, and then the ch- the week after, so you'd have two weeks to watch the show. I could probably do it before then. I think you could watch season one in three days if you if like, yeah, and I think my wife would watch that. Um, yeah. So if you want, if then then in the next then in the next. Uh, podcast we could talk we just, about i think we can do a merge of it yeah, right I, I feel like we won't talk too long about each chapter uh, each POV. yeah and i honestly i mean like i don't remember enough specifics i think to talk well i think the show like that yeah the show will be, be good, really will hard because i think it, it, I think the show be, i think the show is for the most part is almost dialogue for dialogue major scene for major scene like a little differences but for a lot of it it's and i think kyle will notice the major differences because we fucking even though you don't remember it now we fucking hammered it when we didn't talk about it so yeah all right cool that's what we'll plan on and if not we'll just do book next week and then show week after if kyle can't finish it but i guess you gotta gotta rewatch the show now too (laughs) oh you guys all we all have i just did this i just did this like two weeks ago all right let's get out of here all right bye kyle all right See you, See you guys. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! See you later, Cal. It was great hanging out this whole year, bud. <laughs> Bye, Cal. We'll see you next episode for Prologue 1 of Clash of Kings. All right, boys. Now onto the spoiler section of Daenerys 10. What are your hot takes for this episode? We we made it. We made it, guys. We definitely made it. Thank Fucking God. Finally made it. This has got to be pretty close to a hundred episodes for us. For us, if we had any haters of doing this podcast, they're like, "There's no way you guys will." We fucking stuck it out. I give us a lot of props. We're we're grinding. We got some fans. What is this? Seventy two chapters or something like that. Seventy two chapters, and we did the Night of the Seven Kingdoms two each. So that's six more. So that's seventy eight. Then we did uh, Welcome to the Morning Throners podcast. That was really short, 10 minutes. That's 79. Then we did all eight episodes of... No, it was six episodes. Was six, six episodes. Six episodes. But we did... Uh, uh, what's that? So what's that? What's, oh, hold on. Six plus what? I, I forget. 84 or was 85? 80, 80, 80, I think we did like 85. 10 episodes for without Kyle before we did this. So that uh, besides the ones that we did for the show, I think we're at 85. We did fantasy draft, character recap, theory discussion. Then we did one, two, three, halftime. So that's yeah. 89, four, five, six, overall recap, 90. And then season eight, what is this? We did one on the documentary. So 90, this will be the 91st. So we're, we're dialing in on 100. Uh, I remember dude. the documentary one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you do. Go listen to it. Uh, dude, I would just want to, like, let's just talk quickly, very quickly. Doing the fantasy draft, and dude, we were so geeked up for season eight. And sure, yeah. as we as we reflect back, you know, what's it? What's the saying? Eyesight is twenty twenty or twenty twenty yeah, yeah. or hindsight, hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. When we were living in the moment, it was a great time. And yeah, the fantasy like, draft, dude, the death fantasy draft was one of the coolest things that we've that done was sick. watching that was a cool. show. Like cheering for people to die. And I, don't think the, I don't think the fans really like, again, I, at that point we had no fans, but uh, yeah, that was fun. Dude, as at that point, our friends who actually watched the show were like listening though. That's true. And, yeah. and, uh, that was just me bamboozling you guys. I knew doing like, I knew there was no way I was going to get you guys to fucking sign up to do a podcast on a fucking Game of Thrones, I, this is, we've been at this for a year and a half. There's no way I was getting you guys to sign up for this without saying, without throwing in shit like the fantasy draft and ideas like that. It's just me, just swindling you guys. And look, now you're stuck. I mean, what else am I gonna do on a Wednesday night? I feel like we don't say this that much, but thank you to the few of you guys that listen to. Don't say few. You gotta, you gotta pipe us up. 
Thank you to all. Yeah, thank of you, you guys. to all our listeners out there. We appreciate all the love and comments I'm that you give. We only have a few loyal ones, right? Who are the loyal ones? We got who do you know off the top of your head? And Glad Jax ba- and Glad um, Banana or Bandana, B- Banana or Bandana. I always forget. My, my girl, banana. my girl Ellie, um, Amelia, Amelia, Eerie, Eerie. 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 Was her name well, Amelia? Amelia is di- I think Amelia is a different one. And, and the guy who Jax. just comes at me for not liking cat comes on you. And Jax. Yeah. Now we got. <laughs> N- N.A. Jax. More comments, please, guys. We'd like to have more discussion points throughout our sets. Simon Kelly, one of, another one of our big commenters. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It means a lot. Jeff would have quit a while ago if it wasn't for the haters. The haters Absolutely. fuel him. Definitely. So, so N.J. Jax might be our best, uh, our best fan. What so really fuels me, guys, is this one day I got a call from Nelson, and he was like, yo, I just got done editing in a podcast, and you know what the truth is? You're the talent. You carry us through the podcast. I don't think that ever happened. What'd you say? What'd you say? I don't recall. I'm the glue. Any. I'm the glue of this podcast. What? Oh, my God. You're going to deny it I now. I might have said that you're the color commentator. Oh, my God. You're going to deny it now. I think I said I you're should the color have commentator. It. I should have recorded it. You're the color Nelson commentator. Nelson literally like, man, like when you're Nelson's on. Nelson's the play-by-play. Jeff's the color commentator. I'm the, I'm, yeah, the, I'm the one that actually knows the stats, and you're the one that just fills air with. I'm with the anything. stadium announcer that just says like, "Oh, he he's scored like, a yeah, goal. man, you get Glow and Kyle involved, and if you're on, <laughs> like, sure, you get distracted sometimes, and it's okay. We know you, you know, you watch some sports during the, but man, when you're on, you're on, and you're you're the talent. I, I appreciated that. Nelson. I'm sure that if anything like that came out of my mouth, it was followed by some point of improvement. Like, hey, you might be the glue, but stop chewing uh, sunflower seeds. Or, oh my God, now that you're bringing up sunflower seeds, <laughs> no, oh my, a good one. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. I literally <laughs> ate sunflower no, seeds no. in the intermission. In the intermission, I you'd have kidding. to go back over kidding. a year to find any podcast with me chewing in the background. I don't know about that, but you've been really good about it for a while. Yeah, Absolutely, over it. a year. We're, over we're, a year. The quality is obviously stepping up. We're thanking everyone. We we'll probably going way too long on we haven't talked about a single thing about this chapter yet but let's our get fans into it. are here for us they're not here for game of thrones uh probably probably more game of thrones but they can get they can deal with six minutes of us every once in a while thanks All guys right. for listening get first, ready for clash here first one first one i got here i had a few that came out of the non-spoiler section too i don't normally get any at that i got kyle, like two comments and then one that i took away because we discussed it yeah kyle brought some up um logs were laid East to west, and they mention that's a good one. Sunrise to sunset. Yep. We, that's is a, there, that's another th- that's another thing we could have told Kyle. Is yeah, that, I, I didn't want to because I didn't know if there was like some spoiler ass shit. Cause like with her womb and the sun setting on the east, like maybe the fire extinguished first on the west side. Yeah, but there's no big detail about that. Well, where is, where is I, I don't Drogo? think that relates to her though. Drogo is. Where are in we the, in the world right now? In the west. In the east. I mean in east, sorry. East. What did Danny call Drogo? The the, the, the sun. sun. Drogo's set setting, dying. Yeah. We first are introduced to Drogo in Pentos, which isn't west, but it's on the western coast of Essos. Again, it's a stretch, but I think some people have said that. Uh, Drogo so is the sun that the, rises in the west. They meet him in the, the west. The west of Essos, he died in, in, in the east of Essos. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it was like, man, they're really like mentioning west and east and tagging it with the sun setting and yep. sun rising. So, but then they mention, well, I, I don't think it's a, a non coincidence. And they say like they go north to south and they for say sure. ice and fire. So we get the mention of dragons now for the first time. So. Yeah, which is weird. It's like some. It's like a comparison between sunset, sunrise, and sunset, and ice and fire almost. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like life and death. Yeah, right. That's what it was all. Yeah. Like. I mean, yeah, yeah. death. Real I quick, mean, the what is it again? Are, the sunsets and the. West, sets east in the, and rise in the east west and rises and in the west yeah mountains blow in the wind and what was the third because she gets her period at the end of what's it called when your womb quickens Dance of dragons mountains blow in the wind like leaves uh when the seas go dry and people think it's the dark back you see drying out because winter's coming yeah so i mean all three of those criteria are hit mm-hmm. so i i think with it's, uh... with quentin dying or drogo here no, I'm saying it's Quentin. I think dying. Quentin works too, but I think Quentin's alive. So, because all three of those things happen, and then her womb quickens. Like who that, the fuck the is Quentin? Chamber. Is that Aegon? Aegon? <laughs> no, that's um, Martell's son. Martell's son. Wow. He comes across with drink water and it, he burns. Right? They burn his ass. 
Yeah. Yeah, the dragon. He, he tries to free the dragons and he gets burned. He gets POV chapters. Why why does he matter about her, her womb quickening? The Martells are the, the sun and the sun, the sun and spear. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right, that was my first one. People, most people think that's what the sun is that rises in the west and sets in the east. Most people think it's Quentin. Gotcha. My first one is Kyle thinks Daenerys knew exactly what she was yeah, doing that whole I don't, time. Like Kyle, to think out, that dude. she like, like she thought she it. was doing blood magic, maybe like I again, I think it was a true hail mary. <laughs> I just don't. And like also, I think she was also getting messages sent to her and dragon dreams. People think Miri had something to do with with it too, because at the beginning of the chapter, Miri tells Danny. Like, it's literally the quote I read. Do you think blood magic is a game for children? You call me a ma- uh By itself, blood is nothing. You do not have the words to make a spell nor the wisdom to find them. So you think her singing at the beginning is helping? That was one of my things. She, she claims singing. you need words for a spell and then no one's fucking talking except for Mary, who's doing pretty much the same shit she was doing in the tent. I don't know why the fuck she would be doing it. People, So some people think it's Mary's trying... Mary's doing a spell that would save herself from the fire. And somehow by by Danny putting herself in risk of the fire, she like somehow steals Miriam as Dora's protection. Because, again, we know that Danny's not fireproof. So how does Danny survive this? So some people think it's like Miri was doing a spell to save that would like save somebody. Right. But again, like spells are weird. Who the fuck knows how they work? And instead of saving her by by Danny putting herself like basically in the fire as well, Danny basically stole Miri's spell. But why does she care about saving Danny? No, she wouldn't. Like she's, she's trying, trying to, save, to herself. save herself, and uh, somehow and Danny, Danny fucked it. up her spell by just like walking into the fire. And like again, because magic's right. w- wonky in this world. Again, who the fuck knows? We'll probably never know. So, yeah, Some yeah, we'll never know. That, but Nelson, that, this is down the vein that um, who's the lady from Rashad? I can't think of her name. Quaith. Quaith. Quaith was one of her like agents. Two, we're gonna meet her in like two or three chapters as well. Yeah. Two or three Danny chapters. This is kind of down the vein that uh, Miri was one of her agents, and like so. I feel like at some point, if she is one of her agents, it dawned on her that like, hey, I can help these dragons hatch if I make this spell. Because she's like, said the fear left or the, mm, what is it? it Something left her, her, her eyes. eyes went to, her eyes went to fear. No, uh, well, it says it could have been fear. The contempt left her eyes and then something that might have looked like fear. But it could have been something else like, oh, dawning on her eye, like dawning, like, oh, I'm going to die, but I can make these Like maybe eggs her hatch. whole plan was like, save, because she's earlier, she's saying, save me, I can help you. Maybe she's saying like, save me, I can help you hatch these dragons. And then later when Danny, when Miri realizes that like, oh shit, she figured it out herself. Instead of yeah. now hating Danny, she's like, oh, cool. She's like, instead of contempt, it's content. And instead, and she just said, and Danny describes content as might have been fear or something like that. Is what, that's your claim? Yeah, that, yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I kind of. So buy it, right? I'm not saying I believe that. I'm saying if if she is an agent, that could have been the reason why she stopped hating For her. For sure. And second. again, what have I told you guys that like we've had there again? It doesn't really make any sense if you think about like how the fuck did you place Miri in this place where she's gonna run into Danny and not get raped and somehow get saved? Like, there's no way to to plan that. But if somebody did and. And the point of putting Miri there, the super mage person near Danny, what would the point of that be? <laughs> Danny is a little girl with these mystical items, and now we have this mage person. Like, it seems like potentially she wanted to hash the dragon, hash the, like Miri mm. wanted to hash the dragons. I don't know. We're, it's a, I mean, it's a ton the of big speculation. Here. The thing is, so we know of other people who tried to hash dragons, mainly one. And I think I told you egg. a lot about it. Egg, right? Exactly. Eggy. So let's Eggies. talk about differences. What are differences between what happened with egg and what happened here? We don't know a ton about what happened with egg. Egg burned everybody. People burned. What are the no, requirements no, for fire? No uh, yule. No yule. Life. So what, are, say so what are the requirements for dragons? It, it can't just be people burning, right? Because then why does not why does egg not have dragons? Some people say maybe because we those were dragon eggs were rocks. <laughs> uh, a lot of people think that at Summer Hall. People have proposed that uh, something that you do in places where you think there's a potential fire is you put a f- uh, false roof with sand on top, right? That you can somehow that easy, makes sense. easily disable this roof. All the sand falls, puts out the fire. People think that like potentially they did this something. Maybe they did a similar thing with water or something because they knew they were going to do this crazy thing. And they either pulled the sand beforehand, locked the doors, let the fire happen, didn't pull the sand, whatever. People say – because there's so little knowledge about what actually happened at Summerhall, maybe we don't know if Egg succeeded or not. 
Maybe he has and the three dragons. dragons just died in the fire. And whoever got there was like, this is not a good idea and just killed the fucking dragon. Like, you could kill, Jorah mm-hmm. could just snap this Drogon's neck right now. Anyone could yeah, just do that. True. Kyle said it. They could kill the dragons. Yeah. What if they did to eggs dragons? Maybe. Maybe the fire burned, dragons hatched, they dropped the sand, dragons suffocated in sand. Who I, Again, like there's like, we don't know enough about what happened on either situation here or with the egg thing to know like why Danny's worked, why eggs didn't. Did eggs not work? We don't even know that, right? So, is that something that we will find out? Aren't they doing more egg stories? I think the summer hall thing is supposed is going to be like a huge revelation and probably wins. like a brand, like a brand. Yeah, thing. probably. Yeah, he de- he. George has said that he wants to do like thirteen total, like eleven, nine to thirteen total Duncan egg books. I think, and he said he's going to do one after wins before Dream, which I'm all about. No, I, I want to not. fucking finish the series. <laughs> We've talked Finish the series, right. dude. All right. Is there anything else to talk about with the Hello? Um I mean I have a I have some more things, but I just meant on like what we were actually talking oh, about no. right there. No, I'm I'm good for this. All right, take your next one, go. No, you Shoot got a shot. You you got a bunch. Uh, I only have like one or two. I mean I had one, George shooting a shot. He definitely was shooting a shot here. Like Uh I think a little bit. Hey, you've got I don't you've think- got nothing else. I'm here, I love you, like let's go enjoy i don't think it was 100 percent. i don't think it was first off i think uh by glow and i disagree with you in the non-spoiler section like first off i don't think this is him i think this is like him kind of more doing what i was saying in the non-spoiler section like saying don't fucking kill yourself yes because i care about you but not being like i fucking love you i fucking love you be like i i care about you khaleesi don't fucking kill yourself we can go like do other shit like your life isn't over you're fucking 14 i don't think it's like i fucking love you like I didn't take it like that. That happens later. And Danny thinks to herself like, oh, fuck. Now I realize he doesn't. He look loves at, me. He loves me like a man loves a woman. He's like loved a, her for a while. But she doesn't realize it until later. So even if he's shooting yeah. the shot right but we, here. But we, I mean, maybe I was like kind of spoiling to with prior with more knowledge. Yeah, accidentally spoiling like, oh, I don't think Kyle thinks anything of it. Because we because Glover and I disagree with you. He was shooting a shot. He lo- he's loved her for He was showing his hand, but I don't think he was shooting a shot. I don't think he was expecting anything out of this. Disagree. Um let's talk about the red comet. Mag being the star. Mag Queen. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that was one of my notes. She has some tendencies here being a net mad well, queen. She throughout. thinks to herself, Am I mad? Miri calls her mad. She says, Is mm. madness far from wisdom? She like almost it she admits it. She's like, Is madness that far I'll from wisdom? I'll even think I'll even take it a step farther, uh, because it's my next one. She's obsessed with the fire. She's like staring at the fire. I have She's that one seen- too. Targs are fire crazy. Arian Brightflame, Egg's brother, the crazy one from the first Duncan yeah. Egg book. He, didn't he walk in the fire? Drinks wildfire thinking it will make him become a dragon. Um. Yeah. No, that's crazy. And she's seeing shit. So I, I just want to touch on this a little bit because I know like whatever religion might play a big part. It might not. I don't care what George's views are. There's one God that we see visions through the fire. So is this the work of fire? God? So I was trying to think like, I, I was looking at this, like, does this mean anything in the future? Like these animals, some of them are sigils, right? Fox mm-hmm. or the Wolf. Florence, Wolf, Starks, Bur- uh, fish, say Tully's right there. A trout. They all looked beautiful too. Was the Li- so lion. They're going to help the first her. One was, I think the first one's Lily Crimson Lion, right? She saw crimson fire lions and great yellow serpents and unicorns made of crimson lion, crimson fire lions. Yeah, great yellow serpents. I don't unicorns. know unicorns. Unicorn. So people think unic. I'm sure there's those are sigils. I'm sure those are sigils. Some houses. Fish, foxes, and monsters. Foxes are uh, Florence. Fish are could be Tully's. I don't know monsters. Wolves and bright birds. I'm sure there's a bunch of birds and and, and, fla- and flowering trees. Each more beautiful than the last, Egg, and then she finishes with a, a great gray stallion. Don't don't sigils a tree. So, like, I know we've got so many different gods here. We've got the the horse gods and the fire gods and the faceless man and the new gods and the old gods. The fire gods are really the only one that we actually see do anything, right? They're bringing people back, and I would argue old gods with what Bran starts to get into at the end of the books. If you if you saying that's what the old gods are, I. I just want to make. I think the fire. I think they're all the same. One, like at some point, it's all one, and they're all one and the same. I don't know if it's in the in the books at all, but like Stannis says exactly what you're saying. Stannis, like when Davos is like, "What are you talking about? Like we believed in this all our lives. How can you just betray all that and go to her?" And he's like, Stannis is like, "Dude, you fucking seen it. 
You're crazy. Have you ever seen the seven do fucking anything? You saw her birth a fucking baby. You've seen her do crazy shit. How can you not right. believe her God is real? He literally says that. Like whether you think he's a good God or a bad God, you have to believe this God is real. And I and yeah. like Stannis didn't have that faith in his own gods. Right. This guy's proven it to me. I don't care what you're saying, Davos, whether it's right or wrong. This guy's showing yeah. me that he can do something. I'm not going to spend my time praying to something that might be – I'm going to be wasting my time on yeah. nothing. And so, I mean, visions in the fire. Like I, I don't remember like too much of like Beric or Thoros talk about visions in the fire. Not or, yet. So this uh, is something that you would never think anything of unless you're on a read-through, right? Right. Danny saying things in the fire, you do not relate that to anything at all previously in these books. But if you're on a read-through, you're like, holy fuck. That's like the big thing that Melisandre does is see shit in the fire. Mm -hmm. And then in the book, I think in the book, Stannis admits to seeing things in the fire. And in the show, I think Stannis does. In the does. show, every, I mean, and the Derek, hound does. Thoros, the, oh, yeah, the hound. A, yeah. um, There's obviously. John, yeah. I think John does too at, at Castle Black. I'm not sure, but maybe. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, you're right. Like there is a like just like Stannis says, this is the god that we get evidence of. I would argue old gods too, blood raven old gods. How does that mm. work? Like it's a fine line, yeah. right? But yeah, uh, my argument's more of like like all right, what's the old god? Is like blood raven the old god? Like is the old god some guy sitting in a tree? Um, that maybe maybe the who is, god who, some what is guy any of sitting this? in a fucking fire. The thing right. is, the argument uh, against that is the old god's a guy sitting in a fucking tree. He's like, well, then what? who were the old guys before that guy. But Bran is in that cave in book five and goes and across a bunch a of dead people and sees like a bunch of people in trees, like right. old, old dead bodies in trees. Yeah. So again, yeah. that's like, that makes me think that the theory, like at some point, like, like Bran's going to be sent back to like, I think something, obviously something's going to fucking happen that makes him leave this hole. But I think theoretically, yes, Bran, the, at the some plan point he goes be, back into the tree. The, yeah. Well, I mean, we know, if the show, if, if it goes to as the show is planned, he's not going to be fucking king. He gets out of there. But it seems to me that like it's based on what the book has showed so far. My prediction, if I didn't know anything about the show, would be that, yes, Blood Raven is going to trap Bran and basically Bran's going to take Blood Raven's place and get stuck in a tree. Yeah. I don't know if he would trap him immediately because Blood Raven did all this shit as an adult, too. Right. I think he was kind of working through Blood Ra like. Blood Raven was working through the previous Blood Raven as an actual person. I think it's more of like a you always need to have a Stark and Winterfell type thing where it's like we need someone alive with abilities stuck in our weirwood, literally stuck in the weirwoods. Yeah, but what's saying like that the clock is ticking on Blood Raven? It's getting old. Do you know what I'm saying? He probably, he probably realizes like, yeah, I'm getting old. I'm probably going to die like soon. Like the night, the night King kills him in the show. It's not like it's like, oh my god, I'm dying, Bran. I need to train you. Say you don't know anything about the show. It's hard, but like, say you don't know anything about the show. There's no way you think that's going to happen. There's there is no Night King. Uh, there is no Night King in the books. Bran is in the hole. Okay. He met some White Walkers. What he might he met Whites on the way to the hole. That's it. And Cold Hands. You don't think there's going to be a, a leader of the Dead Army again? I think probably based on the show. But if I'm based if just on what the books have presented so far, the books have set up like. Holy fuck. Bran found this dude who's stuck in a tree. Bran finds a bunch of other dudes who are stuck in a tree. Their abilities are the same as Bran's, right? And like I'm I, I'm with you. I, I agree. I just don't know if it's more like, oh, you're here now, you're staying here. Like you can't leave. I'm thinking it's more like, hey, you're gonna go leave and then like, hey, once you're done this job, you fucking come back and take your spot i i don't know that, that's just my that thought. makes i think that 100 percent makes sense like i'm not 100 percent set on brand staying in his cave but again i think i'm maybe a little jaded by the show hodor's yeah. about to kick yeah, the, the bucket really and brand does. can't and hodor's about to kick the bucket and brand can't go anywhere without hodor so it's kind of like a perfect setup for how do you trap brand in a in a, in a cave you don't you think make him can drag him with a sled no or not cold at all. hands takes I've him told you before, what about cold, cold hands, hands what about cold hands i told you before though that but again, like if there's no Night King in the books, then like what's the threat of the cave? It's protected from whites. There's no. Well, then why is Hodor gonna kick the bucket? I don't know, but <laughs> but if he does, Bran can't get away without cold hands. I guess that's what happened. I guess that's what happened in the show too, though. So maybe Bran's trying to break away, and that's how Hodor dies, or something. I think Bran's gonna have a vision, and like maybe that's when we get introduced to the Night King, and that's when he fucking. They attack the tree. I guess that's... Hodor is going to die by holding the door. 
right? It's gotta be. I hope it's different. It's gotta be a little different, though. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense because they're literally fucking jumping through the ground and through the ground, like through the hills and shit, and then all of a sudden they just can't get through Hodor. Like it was like a million deads. <laughs> this is making sense. Again, physically. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, but like again, just like get cut, something that the books could do that I think will be better than what the show did. Doesn't need a Night King and results in the same thing is and again the whole kind of thing behind my theory is that the people we're in a fucking danny chapter what are we talking about the whole thing behind my theory is that the people in that cave are are evil right and bran is like realizing that and trying to escape from blood raven not escape from the night king right so maybe it's hodor holding the door against children of the forest Maybe or something like that, and maybe I don't cold hate that hands, idea. And maybe cold that hands idea. is Benjen, and he is like, you know what? Fuck. Maybe they killed the three eyed raven, which like releases cold hands from like some spell that mind control, whatever. Warging, maybe fucking he was literally being warged. That's how he became maybe. cold hands. Who the fuck knows? And when I Brian, don't hate your theory again, I think that is way more interesting, and everything still. Like everything from the book, everything from the show still happens. Does Hodor Bran the still have three eyed raven powers as he leaves the. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think. I think he has he the just... powers. The problem is. So I think, the, again, we learn in the Varamir chapter at the beginning of, da- at the beginning of Dance that um, when you die, as a, when you're a skin changer and you die, you can jump into another body, but then you can't skin change anymore. So you think three eyed raven has one last jump? Well, the, think it, the, the thinking is what if you jump into a body as. What, that's a skin changer. What if the three-eyed raven jumps into Bran? Hmm. And that's how that's how all these bodies got here. It's literally there's one guy at the beginning who's like, if yeah. I'm, now that I'm connected to this tree, I have way more power because right. there's this weird wood network or whatever. I can reach people way further than I could before. Before I just had like whatever Bran has now, right? So he he somehow brings someone to him. He finds someone who has the same power, brings them to him. And then takes them when he dies. I hear you. And just keeps I hope doing Brand, that. I hope Bran ends up in the tree at Winterfell. And I hope Bran realizes that's happening. There's some crazy like mind battle that you couldn't <laughs> even do in the show because it wouldn't make sense. But like where him and the Three Eyed Raven are literally having like a war off of like who can control the other one and push the other one down in their own body more. And Bran just takes over and becomes a badass and then escapes. I think that's way better than a Night King. I think that's way better than a we Night kinda- King. We kind of. We kind of forgot that we made wargs in the show. Or even the Three-Eyed Ravens the Night King. I think that's dope, too. If this guy in the weir, it, like, again, like, somehow the weirwood corrupts whoever's in it, and B- Bran realizes that, and it's like, I'm not going to get stuck in this weirwood forever. Fuck you. And he kills yeah, that maybe. guy in All escapes. right, long story short, fire gods here and, and present and doing yeah, some shit. Yeah, it's a shit. fucking Danny chapter. What are we talking about? Jesus. All right, uh, my next one was Drogo Star Wars the Red Comet. I don't really know anything other than we see the Red Comet in, like, the next five chapters. Oh, I think it's like most of Clash. It's all over the place. Like for like, yeah. it's in the sky for like, <laughs> I feel like half it's the in book. there for a while. It doesn't yeah. mean anything other than that. It was a sign that dragons. Well, were everyone here. says it's something different and you're going to like this. Jeff, one person says it's dragons. That's not near Danny has no idea. Dragons are, are true. What person? Why don't you guys guess? Uh, is it Aria? Nope. Catelyn? Hot pie? <laughs> no, it's Osha. Osha tells Bran. Oh. Osha tells Bra- Bran it means dragons. I'm. Pr- she's the old. She's the old god. Uh, I don't, I haven't whisper. read this recently. I'm. I. I'm going strictly off memory. I'm pretty sure Osha tells Bran in the books that it's a sign dragons are back. And it's like yeah, holy she fuck. Knows, Osha's cause the god. old gods are. And then it makes the old you gods think, are talking to it her. It makes you think because even Kyle, the first time Osha was telling Bran shit in the gods, when Kyle's like, yeah, but she like she's full of shit. She's saying giants are real, and Kyle's like, giants aren't real. And it makes you go back yeah. and be like, wait, what if I just assume that everything Osha said was true? Because she's has a pretty good track record. Mm-hmm. Then if we look back, I don't know if she's been wrong yet, <clears> right? <throat> and then if we look back to what I said about four <laughs> podcasts ago. And there's a huge fight about. <laughs> is she an agent of the Three-Eyed Raven? No, I think she can just read the gods. What are the gods? She can what interpret the, old, the gods. What are the old she gods? She can interpret. Glow, we she just can fucking interpret, talked about it. She can interpret Blood Raven's fucking messages that he's sending. She's a, she's an agent. New theory. Again, I feel like we're all over Bran in this chapter. Next, uh, Kyle brought it up. This kind of backs up your guys' theory about the whole John thing. Danny just Let's gave go. birth to flying horses. Mormont literally asked John, do you have flying horses? We were joking around about it being Pegasus. 
But that's literally how the Dothraki see these these dragons mm-hmm. is fly, flying drag like flying. So what are you saying? Horses. How does that tie in? You think John's a Targaryen? It's now? basically Mormont saying, John's "Do you have any fucking?" Get... It's like Mormont saying, "Do you have any fucking dragons? Do you have any fucking flying horses?" It's a dragon, but he doesn't. But he doesn't. But if he's a Daenerys Targaryen, does. he might. But he's yeah. going to get him. Books he does in the show. He does. Right. Probably that's probably going to happen if he's a Targaryen. Like he probably is. He's going to. Who's in he the get? Books, he's going to be like. Uh, I remember when. Jor said, "Do I have any flying horses?" As he's riding a dragon, that would be dope, right? That would be a fucking that would sick be a callback. sweet callback. But even if you're Jeez. George, if you're George in book one, and you know John has this crazy secret, and he ha- he's going to be this Targaryen, but you don't think that you're going to put in little like. That's a good Easter egg, right? If you know John's, a- that's an Easter egg for sure. But you just don't believe in it. I'm surprised you're. A- I'm surprised we didn't see it last chapter. Yeah, when he brought it up, I was like, "Oh, flying horse!" That's makes a me good think. One. I know. Ky- that's the thing is, Kyle is the one that connected connected it yeah. to John. I feel like the re- we you might have been afraid of like saying like, "Oh, that's a what? What do we think? That's a big flying thing that you can ride." But like, I don't Kyle think to- he was being scared. I wasn't. No, I was saying that because like I think part of the re- I I think most people wouldn't respect Danny as much as the Dothraki do because their whole culture is about horses and dragons are pretty much horses. I'm saying from the in the John chapter when Gior says that, like we would have been like we wouldn't have brought up dragons there. We didn't because we brought up Pegasus. We didn't we didn't bring it up in right. The but I feel either. like it was kind of calculated because we didn't want to be like, hey, Kyle, start thinking about dragons coming. But we didn't like, think well, about it in this. We didn't bring it up in the spoiler. We didn't section bring it up either. in the spoiler section. But I honestly didn't think about it at all. Did you think about it like that? You t- you said to me off record multiple times like, oh, like. When Danny rides the dragon, like that's why the Dothraki, yeah, because that's sure. the most badass horse. We've had that conversation. We've before. had that conversation, but we, we didn't have. bring it up. Like I didn't even think about that. I never connected that. it to the John thing, though. Yeah, you're you're 100 sure. right because we talked about when she, at the end of book five, she's on Drogon, surrounded by a Kalazar, and I yeah. I think they're gonna basically bow down to her. Unlike in the show, they're gonna I think they're gonna where they immediately, take her back. I think they're basically gonna immediately bow down to her and be like, "You're the most badass." She's gonna be like, "All yeah. right, where's uh Mono?" And Jago, let's go fuck, let's go fuck them up, ass. and then let's go. We're going back to Marine. I think that's basically what's going to happen. I think she, she, I don't think she, she probably just kills those two and then takes their men, right? She wants more men, more men. She's not going to like burn the whole fucking thing. It depends thing on down. who's with them. Like if the Kalazar that's surrounding her is not their, their Kalazar, she'll be like, mm-hmm. yo, what's up, dudes? High five to the calls. Maybe she'll just toast them. Who knows? She's kind of crazy now. Yeah. And then she'll be like, hold on, before we go back to Marine, we've got to go fuck these guys up. George has said that she yeah. is not leaving SS before she fucks those guys up. Yeah. She's gonna go no, fuck I, those guys I, that's up. fine. I don't think, honestly, she's got Drogon. It'll take again, her like maybe two seconds she fucks to those go guys fucking up. burn. She also maybe fucks those guys up. And again, I hope, every, I'm hoping everything's happening differently from the show, but ends up the same, right? I, th- I propose a few things like that. But again, maybe she just gets taken captive, goes back to Vazothrak and burns them in the fucking tent like she does in the show. Yeah, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put my money on that happening. I mean, it was fucking badass when you saw it the first time, but like, yeah, it was badass I've seen it show, already, give me something mm, new, which is sense. maybe what's taking George so long. But I don't know. Uh, you guys got anything else? Uh, one, one thing I had was when uh, Jorah's like, we can take the eggs and buy a ship and take us to the free cities, or if you sell them all, you'll be a wealthy woman. She says, they were not given to me to sell. Even if it's not her realizing that they were given to her for to given to her to hatch i've proposed to you as before that illyrio gave them to her and then told jorah yo take her to a shy and figure this shit uh, out figure out how to get it hatched. so like i'm not yeah. saying that da- again danny obviously it, at this moment is trying to hatch them so i think she is saying yeah. they were not given me to sell i didn't write it as a note them. but i think i think yeah. this is also george telling us they weren't get like I think it's potentially. Illyrio knew what he was doing. I think it's potentially yeah. George telling I, us. Illyrio knew. I didn't doing. write it down because I felt like you definitely would have brought it up. Like Illyrio knew. Illyrio knew of a of a chance of this happening. Again, I don't think that's a, uh, confirmed at all. A lot of people think Illyrio has a hand in it, but I think maybe it's like Illyrio's version of a hail mary. Like, hey, I've got these three fucking dragon eggs. She's the, the last la- Targaryen. The last Targaryen. Like maybe he last, knew whatever. Viserys was a fucking schmuck. And he was like, well, fuck Viserys. I'm not giving him to him. I'll give him to this girl. One thing that's crazy is like there's so much stuff in Game of Thrones that like it could be somebody else's meddling or it could just be coincidence. Mm-hmm. Right. Like if Illyrio yeah. just gave these to her as a gift, like I wouldn't have a problem with it. Like I wouldn't think that's yeah. I wouldn't think that like, oh, what the fuck? That's like uh, we just forcing know the Illyrio's plot. playing a deeper 
yeah. role. Yeah, and maybe it's because they're so long, right? Because, like, Illyria Lily gave these to her, like, 600 pages ago. I don't mm. feel like it's like, oh, here's eggs, hatch eggs, which is, like, m- what it might yeah. be. Yeah, but to that point, too, it's not like their plan is, like, we're fighting to take over the Seven Kingdoms tomorrow. We're fighting to take over the Seven Kingdoms in X amount well, of years Illyrio from now. seems to have a pretty short-term plan when he's talking to Varys in that Arya chapter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. You guys have um, anything else? I've got one, like, just bullshit one. Yeah, I got one after Jeff, though. One small one. Dude, the, the breast milk thing is fucking weird. I can't get over it. I, love people, I don't I love know if, like, if a pregnant... Like breast milk fetish. If a pregnant lady is aroused, does she just start firing milk out of her nipples like a fucking... Like a water gun? I don't know, and I don't, I know, don't know why Kyle would know about this, because he's, like, only, like, a few years older than us and doesn't have any kids. But he said it's possible. He, like, knows some weird shit. Like, he... He might study some weird shit females, like on his own. Yeah, but also, yeah, but females still research shit and they know more stuff about their own body than we do. And he has a wife that he spends yeah, every day with, and they probably true. have conversations about that shit. I was, I, I didn't. I'm gonna have to ask. A, I'll have to ask around to see if like. Ask Deepak. Hey, when you were pregnant, just ask Deepak. She had, she's never been pregnant. She'll I need to ask know. Who's she's pregnant. a doctor. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I, mean, uh, I don't know about spraying, uh, but I think K- they lack Kate. Kelsey. Yeah. yeah. What? But hold on. What's the moment where that happens? Danny's like fired up. She's like, she's aroused. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe, like, if you're getting it on. I mean, you can <laughs> lactate. Like, they probably lactate, but I don't know about shooting. I don't know about spraying all over. Like a water gun. Lactating's way different than fucking shooting. <laughs> Dude, they're literally spraying, like, a fucking water, like, a super like soaker. Like fucking Austin Powers. It, yeah, the jubblies. <laughs> oh, my God. Machine gun How did I miss those, baby? And I, I get the whole point of her breastfeeding the, the dragons to be the mother of dragons, but they don't need her fucking milk. Like, let's be serious. <laughs> what food are they going to eat right now? It is a fucking chicken. They, they, they cut no something shit. up and they're they about cook to be starving, walking around a wasteland, dude. Everyone's like dying while they're traveling. There's no yeah, food. And, them. and her milk, the milk is enough for fucking dragons. I don't believe that at all. First time they're born, maybe. And also, I think that in the books, like, Danny and Eerie discover together that dragons only eat cooked meat. But I'm pretty sure in the books or in the show, like they discover that when they're in Karth, right? Like they like. But Drogo is just like burning the meat. Like. He, yeah, they throw they, it up. They and don't show them eating. She like couldn't get him to eat on the way to Karth in the show. She's like, they won't, why won't they eat? Why that. won't they eat? Because they're trying to give him raw meat. Hmm. And then in that scene, she's like, oh, no, you can cook your own meat now. So, like, at some hmm. point in between there, they figured it out. But I'm pretty sure in the books, like, pretty soon, like, in the, in the next chapter or, the, or the, the chapter after for Daddy, she says, like, yeah, Viserys told me they only, they only eat cooked meat. I don't know. So, I mean, that makes the breast thing weird. But I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> There's weirder things. Like, when it's Sam weird. starts drinking Gilly's breast milk while they're fucking, that's way weirder than this. But I mean, I don't recall that. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Guys, I think, like, a husband will try... Uh, the the breast milk, like in a bottle, like hey, how what's this taste like? Not not saying I have or I will, mean, but if I ever have a kid, I will I will totally try it. I hundred percent gotta be good. What it's gotta be about? good. You know the kind of shit I do. I hundred percent would. I'm just saying it's fucking weird as fuck that like George has breast milk. We've already had like a kid who drinks while breast they're milk at while they're diddling. This girl literally giving animals breast milk, and then we have a. The breast, the breast milk during diddling might be the most, if we're being honest, might be the most like normal out of the three of those. And I bet you there's more breast milk. Yeah, maybe he was I'm just sucking on some, just sucking on some nipple and some milk came. I guarantee that's happened at some point in these books. No, no, I'm saying that's what Sam was doing. No, I think he was going for it. He's talking about like it's it's gross if you look it up. What breast milk? What no, like Sam, like oh, he wanted the milk. <laughs> I've heard it tastes pretty good. No. I don't know if they meet the Fockers, they say it tastes horrible, right? Yeah, that's a movie. But they're normally like normally movies aren't yeah, far off. This is a book. This is a book and much more reliable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying Sam said it was good, I'm just saying I've heard from people that it's not bad. I don't I don't know. I don't know the first thing. A fucking baby drinks it all the time. They don't complain. It's probably so warm too. Uh it's so warm. It's yeah, gotta be, it's gotta be like 80, 80 degrees. 96, yeah. 98 degrees. Is that, yeah, it's gotta be like our body temperature, right? Yeah, actually, never mind. I don't know if I want to try it. 
I mean, maybe put it like in the fridge for a little bit, get it up to our temp. Sam thought again, but what? <laughs> Cinnamon wind was spinning all around them, and he could taste the rum on Gilly's tongue. And the next thing, her breasts were bare, and he was touching them. I said the word, Sam thought again, but one of her nipples found its way between his lips. It was pink and hard, and when he sucked on it, her milk filled his mouth, mingling with the taste of rum. And he had never tasted anything so fine and so sweet and so good. Yeah, I think he was just swung <laughs> up in the moment. Sweet. And then it's later, so sweet, Glow. And then oh, shit. Afterwards, afterwards, she went to sleep with her arms around him and her face across his chest. Sam needed to sleep as well, but he was drunk on rum and mother's milk and gilly. <laughs> The most popular description is heavily sweetened almond milk. Huh. And it's affected by what the mom eats at the time. Glow, say your point. All right, my last point that I have, uh, Jeff in the non-spoiler section brought up that the Valyrian... My last point as well. uh, Valyrian steel swords are made out of... They're dragon-forged. I don't know if we've ever heard that. I've never heard that. I know that there's spells that go into it while they're binding it. But I've never heard that it's You're dragon forged. Spell forged. Yes. I've always assumed, for a long time, I always assumed it was basically you only need a dragon fire on normal steel. Literally, what I joked about is what I always thought for a really long time, until I heard an argument about the spell forge thing. Now I think there's probably something more to it than just dragon fire. But I think dragon fire is yes. probably the key ingredient. Like I think if you go back to we were talking about it at the beginning of that at the beginning. Of the, of this section, if you go back to like our character recap or like some of the pre season eight podcasts, I'm pretty sure one of my predictions was that like Gendry and Danny were going to work together to make Valyrian steel swords in Winterfell. Now that there was, yeah, you definitely, you definitely that probably said that. I 100% thought that was going to happen. And they just used yeah, dragon glass. Um, it's kind of funny that when we hear Valyrian steel, um, other than it being like sharper and maybe stronger. It's really just a Damascus forged sword, which they make in uh, real life. Like it's, it's, it's got like ripples it's and shit in it. Like, like it's just, but it's, it's not the same like that. It's not what it is. It's, it's prettier. Yeah. It's, 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 it's sharper and lighter is the thing. So you can swing it way faster. Yeah. Um, I think dragons are definitely a part of it though. For sure. I would say they're a part of the spell. So. I mean, it's Valyrian steel. What happened? What was a thing they had in Valyria? You don't have anymore. Yeah. They all had yeah. dragons over there. Yeah. But Just so, like, the my question gone, with that then, like, how did the Starks get a Valyrian steel sword then? Like, was it a gift from the Targaryen? Uh, no, no, this over? is the thing say. they said. Ice is older than its name. The sword was older than its huh. name, right? We talked about this in one of the first chapters. Yeah. And again, there's... So it just came from well, there's Valyria? Th- there's other uh, things at one like point? this. So Dragonstone is made out of fused stone, which basically is, like, people think it's when you basically use dragons to melt rock and then just form the lava. Mm -hmm. It's like basically using lava to make concrete almost. Right. Sure. Okay. There's other things in wet. There's like, I think like the high, the base of the high tower is also made out of fused stone. What's the high tower? It's in the old town. Okay. Just like, okay. Like house high towers Uh, named after the high tower. Like it's like a it's like a big defensive structure in old it's like the the main the main defensive structure in Lighthouse in Old Town, which is a huge port, one of the biggest cities in Westeros. But maybe I think it's second behind King's Landing. Okay. So it's a huge high like lighthouse in the middle. I got it. I got gotcha. you. And I the gotcha. base of it, originally before the I think before the high towers came, it was just this few stone basically plateau in the middle of this like bay, and then a fortress on top. And the high towers turned the fortress into a huge high tower, or maybe Bran the Builder had something to do with the high tower. I don't, I don't exactly remember. But the base, the point is, the base of it's few stone. And if the thing is, Dragonstone's made out of few stone, and high towers made out of few stone, but the high towers there before Dragonstone, and there were dragons in Westeros before Targaryens. Mm-hmm. That's like a very common theory. If you like, for people that have like read like all the lore books and shit. So some of okay. that potentially explains Valyrian steel in Westeros if all you need is Dragonfire. If you need Spellforge stuff from Valyria, then it gets more complicated. Again, there's always just the trade thing. If they're making these super awesome swords, maybe they're selling some. You, again, normally you don't sell goods of war, 
Right. Come on, man. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure America sells fucking I, firearms I, in the Middle East. Get, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm pretty sure. 1911s are running around the Middle East. I'm just immediately thinking of, of Iron Man, where he just like finds his fucking Stark missiles in a fucking like terrorist cave. Yeah, but Stark was selling them to everybody, the, the wasn't oldest, he? The second oldest profession is selling fucking weapons. Yeah. Weapons, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. What's your oldest profession? Bad prostitution obviously yeah I was gonna Yay, say let's go <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so i had i had an extension on the on the valerian steel thing okay not she doesn't just say she's gonna do you think jorah's gonna get one so okay do you so, think jorah gets ice so is jorah so okay is jorah oh, wait gonna, ice gets cut up right i'm sorry yeah. ice gets cut up into oath keeper and widow's whale. widow's bane widow's whale, widow's whale. If does does Jora get a Valyrian steel sword, or does like a, a Valyrian steel sword that exists right now, or does no, he get a freshly a, forged? We're making one? a fresh one. If he gets one, it's gonna be a fresh one out of Drogon's fire. Okay, well, what do you think about that stance? I think that's reasonable. Um, if he if if he gets back with Danny, then yeah, he gets a new one. I think the fact that she says dragon forged here makes me think i mean again it makes me think does that she say dragonforge yeah she says she dragonforge, says dragonforge. Valyrian, dragonforge comma valyrian steel makes me think that she's gonna make him one uh he's not in her good graces right now though so that's what i'm saying if if she allows him to join forces again then yes she's gonna forge him one there's like this like mythical character who people think are gonna be reborn and some people think it's danny who's that character in, in Zora Westeros, High? Zora High. Is there a weird like uh, prophecy about Zora High, where he like forges it three times and then gives it to a lover, and stabs him in the heart? What if Danny kills Zora with a Valyrian steel sword, and that's her giving him hmm. this this dragon forge store, and that's her doing the Zora High, and it's flipped, and somehow Jorah's Nisa Nisa. Well, that'd be cool. I, but I, I don't I like I don't like Danny as Azora High though. I don't like Danny as Azora High. I love I, Danny. I, I mean, I don't know. It, just, it 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 it. I just thought of it as a potential thing when Kyle started talking about Valyrian steel sword. He was like, she's like, he's gonna give her a, a Valyrian steel sword. I was like, holy, that's like Danny's. If you think Danny's Azora High, Azora High has literally one thing about giving a sword to his what like. I mean, that'd be her, cool. Like, yeah, I like a whole that. Lot of stuff about, then like, she'd be the Mad Queen, though. If she kills George, she's Mad Queen. The, for well, sure. there's things like what where they heal, she like tempers the sword and it dies, and then she tempers it and she stabs a lion. Like could be literally any Lannister, Cersei, and Jane. then Jorah. T- oh, it could be Tyrion. Sure, I, kills Tyrion, then kills Jorah. She becomes Mad Queen. I like Mad that. Queen. I like her becoming the Mad Queen better than John killing her. I think that was awful. For sure, I, th- I think her just going crazy and like literally killing Tyrion, killing Jorah, that'd be way more badass. And then maybe you can tie that into the Azor. Again, I've never heard this theory before. There's probably a ton of shit that goes against it, but it's interesting. I, I thought the quote that he's giving, she's giving him a sword, is interesting. Just considering that literally the only thing we know about Azor High <laughs> is that the the prophecy about him with the sword and Jorah and Danny do have this. I mean, it's not they don't really have a relationship, but like J- Jeff pointed out, Jorah obviously. Loves Danny, so I don't know. John maybe, has to be Azora High, right? Maybe you could make that prophecy fit. I'm guessing. I think it was Stannis. John <laughs> has to be. He he literally wields Lightbringer in one of his dreams. I, I think Dawn's Lightbringer. Okay, he literally wields Lightbringer in one of his dream, dreams. I think it. I think it's Fagon. Well, hang on. If Dawn's Lightbringer, only Danes can have Dawn. I mean, why? Okay, I like. I'm not. I don't the, hate the Lannister fact... steel ice in a second. That's just the rule. I mean, Dark Star. I don't has... hate John being. You think what's John's gonna steal a sword after he left Longclaw Black? Shut the fuck up. Good talk. He's got Longclaw. He just left Longclaw at the watch when he ran away. He's not gonna steal a fucking family sword. He literally just did the opposite of that. Good talk. Yeah, but now he. I win that one. It. I win that one. I was just speaking. No out way of he no way he steals out. Dawn. No way oh, Dawn ever steals yeah. Dawn. He mm, has to be a Dane. Mm. Why does Dawn have to be the Lightbringer? 
What the fuck are you talking about? It's called Dawn. What does Dawn do every fucking day? No, I get it. We, we look again. It's a, you're, we're speculating. Like you just want it to really happen. Full I, circle. Like at, at one point, show. if we find out if Dawn's not actually Lightbringer, I'm just gonna drop the biggest shut the fuck up Nelson on you. If we find that out, I'm not re- not editing a single more podcast. If Wins comes out tomorrow, I'll read it all in a day, and you'll never hear another podcast if that comes out to be true and wins. What if they never what if he never mentioned a, a Dane or Dawn again? Uh I'd be upset, but uh depending on what happens, I as long as I'm happy with the story, I'd be okay with that. But okay. I, I think the Dane Dawn Dane Dawn and the Danes are gonna be very important at the end. And George has you said hope. That, George you has hope. even said that their motto their house motto is a spoiler. People have asked him what their house motto is I can't tell you it would spoil something. Yeah, it could Bringers be. Of the it could light. be like exactly bringers of the light. It could be like go fuck yourself. Could be their family words, and he'll never finish this book. That's what the spoiler <laughs> is. He's never finishing the book, and it go fuck yourself. It could be. Yeah, who the fuck knows? I am totally fine with John being a Dane. It would make me a little bit okay with. Danny and John banging, but I really like fucking what's her name. It doesn't make sense that what I don't know. You're it, gonna, I don't know who what's her name is. Uh, Wildling Princess. Oh, uh, Val. Fair, why why Val, can't yeah. he marry Val if he's a uh, a Dane? He can a hundred percent, but if he's a Zora High, he's got to. He has to have the a thing is Val is actually a Shara Dane, so no, she doesn't have. Black she hair. never jumped. Nor purple. She's eyes. wearing rubies. No, she's not. She has like Nelson. Hair. I don't think there's any chance of that being true, but I don't have anything like <laughs> she, she has everything like Glow saying is true, but like th- maybe she has rubies on. Who the fuck knows? I d- I feel like I would remember it, but I wasn't looking for rubies last time I read those books. She's a woods witch. That's for damn sure. She's a badass. If John's a Dane and D- Danny's a Stark slash Targaryen, yep. I way better. Know. How is that not way better? It might How be way that? better. I still want the banging. <laughs> then they're still related. It might it might be I way better. That. I don't care if they get together. John's going to give it Val. Danny's going to give it Aegon. Who's an actual Targaryen. But I just can't see Ned just sending her away and just being like, all right, good luck in Essos he or can't Dorne. He can with her with blonde hair. Fucking dye her hair. Forever? In, in forever. Like Catelyn, no? For, forever. And not like John's 14. He's keeping this secret anyway. He's gonna die. He has to dye her hair every two days. You have to dye your hair like every two days if you don't want your roots to show. Whatever. Ned's gonna I dye don't know. Her. Do you think that's the? I just. Who does he leave her with? Uh, John Con. Uh, like, I don't know. That's that's no. a, that's like why there's so much mystery about the house with the red door and the lemon tree because like who the fuck maybe knows? Ashara apparently killed herself right after that. It's probably Ashara. But who the fuck knows? <laughs> it's a thing. It's like, we're going to find out eventually. It's going to be dope. And, I- and then Danny ends up. So this, this Stark Targaryen baby ends up at Storm's End or Dragonstone, wherever the fucking no, Storm never happens. never was there. So how does she meet up with Viserys and remember, and like Viserys not remember that, hey, Danny was never actually here? No, Viserys, re- the, the, one of the theories is Viserys remembers everything. He just knows right. that if... If Danny's Rhaegar's kid, she has a better. She potentially has a better claim. If she, if he, okay. she's a younger sister, she doesn't. I'll buy that. I'll so buy that. To, he might think that, but so he just feeds her false info the whole time. Or Maybe. it doesn't. The Danny being the Danny getting to where Danny gets to, and Ned just being cool with it as his daughter, his sister's daughter, and him promising to protect her just doesn't make any sense. So. I don't. Again, we talk about it way too much. We don't know any of the answers. I'm sure we've talked about all those already. Like. I don't know. I can't wait to find some out. Write the freaking book, George. Please, George. And please don't it. just be the same as the show. Just be different. Just make Jonathan, please. Or Danny freaking stuff. Please. Something. Well, that's all we got for this episode, guys. That's all we got for this sticking, book, guys. Yeah, sticking book it through one. for this whole see book. Bye. We'll see you all on the next episode for the recap. Bonus show time. And then we're on to Clash of Kings. The night is dark and full of terrors, everyone. Bye-bye.